So hello everyone, this is Akshay here again and welcome back to the another great day of our beauty streak of day 212. Today's question is very easy and before the question, I have a few things to say. So I have seen this post, I mean we have talked about this post but this actually made a post very good and I was thinking that we can even start something. So I think that like when you solve a question and when you post it or when you write something about it on a paper then you have a better or maybe a more broader understanding regarding that right so I was thinking and I was like I thank you so much but I was also reading all the Raj Vikram Aditya and Anshika Gupta right so I follow them from their placement time and maybe you don't have any trust आप ये स्क्रीनशॉट देखो तो मैंने भी इनको लाइक 2020 में मैसेज किया था कि आई एम वाचिंग योर वीडियोस वर्किंग ऑन माय कोडिंग स्किल्स और आज क्या अभी 2023 हो रहा है राइट तो इट्स बीन थ्री इयर्स जब लाइक समबडी एस टैग माइन एंड हर नेम एंड स्ट्राइवर नेम इन द सेम पोस्ट तो अच्छा लगता है लाइक मैंने ये आज ऑब्जर्व किया ठीक है तो अच्छा लगता है लिटरली एंड लोग सही कहते हैं दैट रिजर्वेंस एंड कंसिस्टेंसी रखो and the time बदलते समय नहीं लगता and you are also on the good part or wherever you wanted to go or achieve right तो मैं सोच रहा था कि एक challenge शुरू करते हैं right जिसमें आप thirty days का challenge होगा like today is twenty fourth of May right so we will do maybe a live chat or anything regarding the live program where we can actually to all our two thousand family members now so that we can actually interact और उस चैलेंज में क्या होगा कि स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम टुडे आप पीओटीडी तो आप कर ही रहे हो राइट यू आर यू ऑल आर डूइंग द पीओटीडी राइट यू आर मेंटेनिंग योर स्ट्रीक तो इससे एक और चीज कर सकते हैं लाइक इन आवर बेनिफिट दैट आफ्टर सॉल्विंग अ क्वेश्चन आई ट्राई टू पोस्ट इट ऑन लिंकडन एज वेल लाइक इफ माई इफ दिस वीडियो इज गेटिंग यू एनी हेल्प राइट एंड इफ नॉट ट्राई टू पोस्ट दैट थिंग ऑन लिंकडन विद दी वॉट टू से as day let me let me show you the template i made some template as well hmm. like this maybe you can start with uh, what is your day like day one or till day 30 uh define the problem student in one line and also like you can mention that if it is a standard variation of the standard problem like previously uh the construction of binary was a very standard problem right using the in order and pre-order also and this is a must thing that you must mention all the possible approaches and for this thing you have to do a research right uh, maybe you know brute force and then optimal and butter but there are always more approaches there so you can learn even more regarding that right and the third point is like you can add anything else you want if you wanted to share some more relevant information and you up you can hashtag dalo like dsa with action 30 days challenge action so like if i want to bluntly say it would be like you are challenging me that okay i'm going to show you 30 days to maintain and at the end of the 30 day you share me a screenshot uh, not a screenshot a screenshot on the linkedin as well that yes gfg 30 days is achieved now right so let us do this challenge it's a very healthy competition i guess between us <laughs> among ourselves so let us do this maybe see where we can reach and uh, like there is no uh, problem in that i think there is no <laughs> danger in that we can start that challenge we can take the challenge up and it would be good also like it would be uh, helpful for you and me to get a better reach right on LinkedIn. Okay, dekhte hain. Aap usko karo. You are eventually solving the question. Let us uh, let yourself challenge me <laughs> with a very healthy competition and a very healthy mind and state of uh, good things. Theek hai. So with that good note, let us resume our today's question. So today's question name is maximum identical bowls. Where uh, n bowls containing cookies in one operation you can take one cookie from one another non-empty bowls and put it into another bowl so if the bowl becomes empty you discard it you can perform the above operation n number of times okay and we want to know the maximum number of bowls we have with an identical number of cookies fine all the non-discarded bowls should contain the identical number of cookies okay so that we want to find the maximum number of bowls such that each and every bowl should have the same number of cookies in a nutshell, right? If I just say it in short. So similarly, you can see for the n equals to three array is given three one five. If you just sum it, it would be five plus three plus eight uh, one nine, right? So definitely, 
uh, if there are nine cookies in overall so three cookies can be divided to each and every bowls and how am i saying that i just sum it and divide it by the number of the places available right similarly for one to six and five uh, we can take six cookies from the third bowl and all they have written the story but uh, Sometimes this exclamation can be misleading, right? They are like saying that, oh, they have done a very good job that removing the six cookies from this bowl and that bowl. But <laughs> if you just look at it, it is five plus six, uh, that is 11 plus two, 13 and 14, right? So, and there are four places. So no way the 14 cookies can be distributed equally in four, let's say four people, right? So, and you have to maximize the bowls and number of bowls you have just four. So can it be divided into three people, let's say? So 14 by 3 it is still not divisible so let us reduce the number of people even less so 14 now can it be divided into two people yes 14 by 2 gives us the 7 right each people can have the 7 and that is the maximum number of people or let's say the places or the number of bowls uh, uh, in the state that it will have the same number of cookies right so i hope you are getting the intuition right <laughs> while i'm just explaining the problem so you i hope you are able to get the logic as well and this question was that I would expect you would have solved it by yourself but still as to maintain the streak I am making this video and there was definitely a big announcement or let's say I wanted to just say it to you guys okay okay so let us pause the video again now here right and since the 10 it is 10 power 5 so definitely o of n solution will work o of n log n will also work but the things which you have just discussed I think that will work in o of n that could be coded in o of n and let us pause the video maybe come back to me in 1.5 to 2 minutes that would be more than enough to code it okay let us let's get started now so okay i don't think i have to like <laughs> uh, move my pen also on the open board for the just to explain example but still let's say for the test case too let us solve it so it is one two six and five we have four bowls right one two three and four so what is the sum what is the number of cookies total cookies we have 5 plus 6 11 plus 20 then 14 right so can 14 divided into four bowls equally no so how many so if four may divide new sector then we have to reduce the number of bowls to three three may divide or sector can we divide it divide equally into two bowls yes uh, so you have to check if four percent two equals equals to zero then you have to return this two right so definitely this can be done with a simple while loop while n is greater than zero you just have to check if some percent n equals equals to zero you have to return n else and minus minus that is it that is it done today's question <laughs> let us code this okay so that's the code i won't even give you a code walkthrough because that is the very naive of me to explain you this particular code <laughs> so yes let us see the compilation passed and then we will hit the submit button okay what's happening so great the compilation has passed successfully and let us hit the submit button while there's the submitting let us analyze the time complexity so we are running a for loop for each and every element to track the sum so it is o of n and the worst case uh, the while loop will also take o of n and yes our time complexity will be just o of n so attempt, attempt number is just one great <laughs> and space complexity we are not using any space so space is o of one so if you guys can solve it in even lesser time complexity like in let's say in o of log n or o of 1 please feel free to comment um, down in the comment section and do not forget to post it on your linkedin okay let us see the c++ code and we will end this video c++ code ke liye bhai what we have to do that we just have to add here long long sum and that's it you're good to go just copy the same solution in your c++ one and it will work fine so okay so on this a good note uh, on this good question and a good uh, announcement let us end this video and let us meet again in the tomorrow streak and i will i'm hoping that you guys will post and i literally waiting for the notifications to pop up in my linkedin account so till then keep learning keep growing bye bye and take care